In this video we are going to make our first paragraph look like the static version. We are going to prepare the fields in the paragraph display. We are going to add the dummy content that we are going to style and we are going to search and override the markup from the paragraph templates. Until now we already implemented the top section that consists of the node fields. So let's go to structure and start preparing our paragraph display. Paragraph types and we're going to start with the three actions paragraph. In the static version it looks like this. Just icon, title and text three times, three actions. So let's go to manage display and we want to remove the labels from each and every of the fields next thing we want to do is we want to change the format for the icons we want just keys for them and actually for the titles and for the text plain text is perfect so we save and the next thing we want to do is we want to create some dummy content so we back to the site and we edit this node what we want to do is we want to add a new paragraph so we add three actions and we may just copy the content from here Perfect, and we save. As you see currently, the output is looking nothing like the actual output that we have in our static version. So as always, we're going to inspect the output and we're going to see from where actually the markup is coming. So it's coming from modules, country, paragraphs, template, paragraph. And we're going to copy that into our team. And we're going to override with the specific template. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to configuration, performance and clear all caches. As we refresh, we see that actually now it's using the newly created template that is specific for our paragraph. So what we want to do now is we want to see what actually do we have in that template. It's looking like this and from our static version we would like to know from where we should override the markup so it looks like from here from container because as we mark here it already shows the top section so we should start from here container section icon section and we should override it for our custom paragraph template. So we already have the static version also here. So what we want to do is we want to go to this section. It starts from here and it goes 
close until here. So we'll copy the whole bit and we may just paste it here. Let's first paste it here. This we would remove and this bit at the top will just override with the top wrapper. Great. And until now we just have content but each and every of the fields we can just render with content dot the name of the field and the machine names of the fields we can find out by going to structure paragraph types and for our paragraph type if we go to manage fields we see the machine names of the fields so the first icon is with a machine name field icon 1 second field icon 2 field, field icon 3 and so on so we copy that bit and for the first icon we just say the tweak equivalent of say something we say content and field icon 1 and we close it so we should do the same for all of the fields so field icon 2 Field title And we should remove this bit here. That's wonderful. So what we want to do now is we want to clear all caches. And after it's done, if we refresh the page, we actually see something much better. So we see the top bit here with the icon we see the title and the titles and the text they all look fine I recall that actually we're supposed to include also this link to the material icons from Google fonts so we just copy that and we can include it into our HTML template and we can just add it here at the bottom just before the JavaScript so that it doesn't block our elements from rendering and now if we clear the cache one more time and if we refresh the page wonderful our icons are also there so if you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, like the video, comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.